my mission, I've got uh, two companies basically. Uh, one does pure education, another one sells gold and silver. We've got a mission to get as much gold and silver into the hands of the middle class as possible before the currency crisis. Uh, the other mission is to educate as many as we can worldwide uh, before a new monetary system comes about. My company has a mission to get as much gold and silver in the hands of the middle class as quickly as possible because when there is great economic upheaval, there is great political change. It usually goes along with it. In the hyperinflation in Weimar, Germany in 1923, this hyperinflation ended on November 15th, 1923. On November 8th, one week before the end of the hyperinflation, Hitler's stormtroopers pointed machine guns at the front door of the Burgerbrau Keller where there was a political meeting. This is a big beer hall where there were about 3,000 people listening to political speeches. And on that night, he took the stage at gunpoint and to this literally captive audience gave a speech that would change the world. Nobody knew the name Hitler. Nobody knew who he was until he gave this speech to a newly impoverished middle class, people that were scared and looking for somebody to lead them. And here this charismatic guy takes the stage, gives them a scapegoat and says, I know the way out of this. The next day, they, the, those people in that beer hall followed him to try and do a military, a, a coup to take, to take over the government and it failed. He was imprisoned. He was tried for high treason. His trial went on for an entire month. And during that month, he had the ear of the nation. He was covered in every newspaper all across Germany. And the judges were uh, sympathetic to his beliefs. So they let him go on for hours on end with these speeches. And that's when he gained power. It was when the middle class was scared. The middle class defines a country with their vote. The, the, the country, as the middle class goes, so goes the country. And so what I am worried about isn't the loss of my financial uh, well-being. It's the loss of capitalism. It's the loss of uh, our quality of life. It's the loss of our freedom of choice. That's what I'm worried about. And I know that there's certain people that I'm not going to be able to reach. Joe Sixpack, I refer to the guy that uh, comes out of his beer and football induced coma <laughs> at the very end of a bull market and comes charging in and buys at the peak. I can't do anything for him. I'm hoping that I can do something for all of you.